Hello and welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.org. Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about scheduling uh, tutoring sessions and really extending the conversation, uh, the explanation that we talked about in a prior video where I talked about how to go about scheduling a, a tutoring session as well as a journal entry. For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, just as a reminder, if you scroll down from the main page within Notion, you'll see a section dedicated towards how to go about scheduling your tutoring session. And if you haven't already, please check out the video where I talk specifically how to go about doing that. I want to draw your attention here to the section that's called Roster and Tutoring Session Calendar. And today I want to talk about how I'm going to go about taking the information that you upload in Notion and how I'm going to move that into Microsoft uh, 365 Teams. Just as a reminder, we have a link here called Tutoring Sessions. If you click here, this will take you to a calendar that will show all of the uh, tutoring sessions that are scheduled. So just as a reminder, we're going to be using the template called Tutoring Session slash journal entry. Remember, there's one template for both, both activities. Uh, we're using the same template to schedule the tutoring session as well as scheduling the journal entries. Today, I'm going to talk specifically about the tutoring sessions only. So remember, when you are scheduling your uh, tutoring session, you want to uh, go ahead and open up the template. Begin by writing out your name. I would write both your first and last name since many of you uh, share the same first name, just to avoid any confusion. And because this is a tutoring session, we need to also make sure that we indicate an end date and include time since we're going to be scheduling in 30-minute increments. So let's say that I want to schedule again for, let's say, a tutoring session on the 18th. So I'm going to begin here by entering the information and let's say I want to schedule it for, let's say, 2 p.m. to 30 p.m. All right, and need to make sure we select the same day here. All right, so here we have our start date of January 18th from 2 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. All right, then we have the date range that appears here. Remember to include your name. Uh, if you click on this empty field, there will be a list of all of you. The whole roster list will appear, so you can simply select your name there. Also remember that we need to select Tutoring Session. So once we've done that, uh, you want to go ahead and complete the template, as we've uh, discussed before. And you'll notice here that the last entry that I just uploaded appears here. Now, before the video, I also included two more just uh, as, a, as a test, just as a uh, to give you an example, this is how it's going to look in Notion. Once you've added your name, you'll see a list of your classmates as well, and you'll see the, the beginning time of each of the sessions. You can assume that they're going to be 30-minute sessions. So again, this should list uh, chronologically by day, and you can uh, see at a glance what days and what hours are available based on our schedule that's set up for our class. Now I want to show you what it looks like or what it's going to look like in Microsoft Teams. Now you'll notice here under post each time that I schedule a meeting within Microsoft Teams it also posts that a new session or a new online meeting has been scheduled. So this can be a little bit confusing as you see here we've got several uh, sessions that have been scheduled and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the schedule from Notion that we just looked at bring that up again I'm going to take this information here and I'm going to based on this schedule create individual online meetings for each one of you all right for your sessions so this is where you're going you're going to come into the session within Microsoft Teams based on the online meetings that I schedule here in this calendar. So my suggestion would be to use the calendar feature in Microsoft Teams in order to find your session 
right, based on the information that you uploaded here in Notion, and enter into the session from the calendar. All right, so if we go to, and at the time of this recording, it's a, actually a couple of weeks before the first day of class, so let me advance forward a couple of weeks. This is the schedule that we're going to have for our thesis seminar course throughout the semester. So I'm going to ask that you try to schedule your sessions within these allotted times, Monday through Friday, based again on this schedule. Um, each day is slightly different. Monday and Wednesday, I think, has the same schedule from 8 in the morning to 12, but you'll notice Tuesday there's a session from 8 to 9 and another one from 11 to 12. On Thursday from 8 to 11 and Friday from 8 to 10. So we're going to try to stick to the schedule. Um, I'm going to have other obligations uh, the rest of the time throughout the week. So we need to try to stick to this schedule uh, whenever you're scheduling your 30-minute sessions. So imagine that all of you have scheduled your online tutoring sessions. All right, Let's say that it's the second week of class. Then we're going to see uh, times, we're going to see actually individual sessions uh, based on your name <clears throat> through, uh, you know, week to week. And this is the, the, the calendar that I'm going to follow and what I'm going to use to get into our online meetings, and uh, you can do the same. So this, I think, is a little bit easier to follow, this calendar view, uh, when compared to the posts that can be a little bit difficult to follow again when we have so many individual sessions being scheduled. Now this post, this post view is important because all of the comments that we make within each of the teams as you're aware of are also going to appear here. So I think this serves a purpose especially if we're uh, leaving chat uh, messages with each other e either before the session or during the session or even p perhaps after the session uh, as it corresponds to what we talked about. I think it's going to be easier to go into the calendar view and find your session and uh, go in and enter and join the session from the calendar view. All right, so I wanted to share with you just this process that I'm going to follow, taking the information from the Notion page that you enter here. Again, you're going to be asked to complete each week either a journal entry or a tutoring session. The template is the same and the reflection questions are the same. And each week I'm going to be reviewing those to uh, determine how I can best intervene and provide assistance to you throughout the writing and research process for the semester. So again, we're going to be using uh, the Notion. You're not going to have to schedule anything in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to do that. But again, I think using the calendar view to try to find your session and uh, join your individual session from the calendar view is going to be easier as, as, as opposed to uh, looking at the post where we've got just a number of different sessions being scheduled. So I uh, look forward to getting started. If you have any questions the first week or two, we're going to be talking about it uh, in our live sessions that we're going to be that are going to be scheduled again that first week. They're going to be primarily whole session discussions so that uh, I can provide some information to the whole group. I will have an opportunity to meet with you individually um, as, as uh, time permits, but uh, we'll be talking specifically how to go about, uh, again, creating tutoring sessions. We'll be reviewing, again, everything that I've been sharing in these videos, but I did want to provide this video so that you can refer to it as necessary, either before class, during, or during our semester so that uh, it might clarify any, any doubts and uh, just really trying to find a way to uh, determine best practices for our interactions for this online uh, course. This has been In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for listening.